Who's a radically me? What's the me all about? Let me explain. When I was born, I was with me. It was no Lee, there was no nothing. Then they gave me a name, called me male, called me an Aquarian. But what was I, a fucking fish? But all this separation started to occur when they started putting all these tags on me. Called me an Australian. Well, I mean, what is all that? All there is, was me. And then as time goes by, we start to um, believe all these tags that we get labelled with in society. And the more you start to buy into all these so-called tags, which were, you know, male, Lee, Aquarian, Australian, and all the rest of it, the more you get separated from the me you truly be. You start to buy into that as who we are, forgetting about the me. And as time goes by, they strap you on that roller coaster and you forget all about the me. You don't listen to the intuition or consciousness on which you be. I look at life now like it's just one big fun park where the Lee's been strapped in the roller coaster and it's just his job now to get off to find me. When we go to the house of mirrors, you look at yourself in these all different mirrors and all these funny shapes. You laugh your head off at all these funny images that you see of yourself. Then you go home and look in the so-called real mirror, you break down and cry. Like that's the real you. Bullshit. What if those funny pictures are the real you? It's not even you at all. It's a reflection of you, what you perceive as who you are. But is that really you? What would the me say? And then it becomes that mission to find me. Once you do, you start to realise and you let, let go of all of those tags you've been given in your whole life that you bought into. You're not your job. You're not your name. You're not your country. Once again, who are you? You're not anything. That's right, the me's everything. Like we're all born me. We're all born as one. But how can one experience anything? can't. One basically needs a number two. Then it's more, then from number two you can go to number three, four, all the way to a number you haven't even heard of. Then after a while you forget that number one, the me, even exists. And that's right, and that's when you kind of get lost in the bullshit we call life. When you forget about the one. As I said, how can one experience anything? It can't. It does need number two. On this, in this, on this planet, can you really just be one? Probably not, because you didn't come here to be nothing. That slight separation of the number two is what you've come here to experience. What about these guys? What did you come to experience? To be a cow. The only thing different with animals, they don't really separate too far from number one. They know what they're doing, they know what to eat, they know where to go. They don't need to be told anything from the day they're born. Get up, start walking and don't need no one wiping their ass. But the human species, we get taught this entire program of who we are, what we be, and believe it. And keep buying into it. We just keep separating further and further from the one, which is fine. But once you realise who you are, that it's all bullshit and all there is is me, you can still buy into whatever you like, but you just know it's, it's real, but it's not real at the same time. It's all part of the show. It's all part of the fun park. Why cry? <laughs> and carry on. It's all part of the show.
So think about it. The me you truly be. Radic Lee is kind of the alter ego. The one that has has the experiences. It's just how far he wants to buy into them is real. And how far he wants to separate. Well, it's not even a separation. Once you're aware of it, it's just all fun. Well, for me, maybe it's not much fun at all. Because I know it's all bullshit, so, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Hey, but it's your life. Do what you do. Do what you enjoy. It's your fun park. It's your amusement park. Jump on whatever ride you like.